Hey, yo, what's up? This is Disciple Marcelo Kearns. Rain back up in this anti-Illuminati all day, anti-America all day. So this video right here is going to be about <clears throat> the age of consent. You already know I got a campaign going on, real warfare really going on. You know what I mean? And this um, this is uh, about being at a crossroads as far as the, the entire world. Now, I'm just going to give you a preview of where this is going, because ultimately, you know, you know, we got it. We got to make sure that the whole world has this understood. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, America, see, they did they did wrong with their agents and consent. That's why it proved fatal for them. The other countries, they don't necessarily witch hunt people because they already know that their laws, what they are. So they're not going around saying, well, you shouldn't be doing this like these Americans. But yet have laws that's obviously underage. They're not doing that part. That's a seven. So that's why America is in the uh, situation they're in right now. Because they went around like as if they were good. Like the age of consent was at 18 in their whole country. Like they were super good out here. And that was super wrong. So super justice is coming and super vengeance is coming. You can't go around and contradicting yourself in this form and fashion all around the country. I'm sorry. See, other countries didn't do that. So I got to drop that part. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over um, the, a couple other countries that you might not know that have the age of consent under 18. And like for the people that follow my messages, you know that I've made it super clear that if you are under the age of 18, you are not an adult. We, we, we've established that. And no fully grown man should have any desire to put their penis inside of you. No fully grown woman should not be one to be penetrated by uh, someone that's under the age of 18. Bottom line, right? Pretty simple, right? Pretty understandable. Anybody understand my logic? Anybody understand my logic? Okay. So if, and if that's going on, here's the punchline. If that's going on, how do you think you have the right to be talking about anybody doing anything with kids? Period. Because in my opinion, there's no such thing as old kids and young kids. You're either in the bracket of children or adults. That's, that's two categories. Okay? So we're at a crossroads right now as a, a world global community about what is, is this right or wrong? Because based on, based on what I said, don't think about your philosophies. Don't think about what these people are trying to tell you about what people used to do back in the day. I want you to listen to my philosophy. My philosophy is, is, is reality. My, the reality is you are either an adult or a child, right? Adults should not be having sex with children, right or wrong. That's correct. If you are an adult having sex with someone underage, you are, as a man, being with a girl, you are penetrating child vagina, right or wrong. That's correct, right? If you are a woman with a child, a boy that's under 18, you are being penetrated by a, a, a child's penis, right or wrong. That's correct, right? That's all I got to say. So we're going to get into the, um, the countries that you might find unbelievable that, 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 that follow this, this, this perspective. Like, it's all good in the hood. Okay, I just did a video before this one talking about Jamaica. Jamaica has the age of consent at 16. Before 1988, Jamaica had the age of consent at 14. So from through all the 60s and through all the 70s and most of the 80s, and Jamaica has had the age of consent at 14 years old. Before 1988, it was at 14 years old, man. So through all that music you was listening to, you talking about back in the day in Jamaica, all you people that never, you know, never really been there, but you you have this this righteous respect for Jamaica. 
Okay, through all those years that, that all that good music was made before 1988, all of that time they had the age of consent at 14 having sex with 14 year old girls. Somebody there was doing it. I'm not saying everybody, obviously everybody wasn't doing it, but that was the law. That was what the government, the Jamaican government had in law. Whether you like it or not. Next, Cuba. Cuba got it at 16. Mexico. Mexico got it at 17. 17 is not an adult. Again, anybody under the age of 18 is not an adult. So that so for all these the Mexicans riding around like y'all righteous too, like you the ones to like you the oracles to tell who's a pedophile and who's not. Let me inform you that your country, Mexico, has the age of consent at 17, which it means Mexican men are penetrating a child's vagina if she's 17. 17 is not an adult, right? It is not, right? Okay, so if a Mexican man has sex with a 17-year-old Mexican girl, that is a child, which means he's penetrating child vagina. Case closed. Puerto Rico, okay, they good with 21, but here's the problem. Under certain specific circumstances, it says, females can marry at 16. So they still slip it because they still have the option for people to marry individuals that's under age. It shouldn't be an option in your government. It shouldn't be an option in your government. It shouldn't be at all. It shouldn't be an option for a man to be able to penetrate uh, someone that's under 18, which would be penetrating female vagina, vagina that's a child, okay? No human being should be able to do that. Puerto Rico still allows the option under what they call specific circumstances. Not sure what those specific circumstances are, but the female can marry at 16 years old. That's still fem- that's still child vagina. Sorry. The Bahamas. Bahamas, sorry to bust your bubble. The Bahamas got it at 16 too. Barbados, I'm sorry. You got it at 16 too. Brazil, I'm sorry. They got it at 14. See? They could not resist and wait for the beauty of their people. Brazilian women, hands down, are some of the most beautiful women in the world. They have it all, naturally. As a man, I'm being 100. They have it all naturally. They're everything a black, a, a, a black woman can be. They're everything a Hispanic, a Latino woman can be. And they everything a white woman can be. They got the facial features just as beautiful as a white woman. No, I'm just being 100. They are everything a man could desire, right? But you should be able to wait. For, you should be able to wait for the beauty of your people, which means although we cannot deny if a human being is beautiful, but you should be honorable enough to wait until that's not a child vagina anymore. You should wait until it is an adult vagina. Okay? Brazil has it at 14, big baby. That's for all you who have this admiration for all these places. But yet you come here and you think you look at us like we're nothing. That's for the Americans. Now, see, here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And, th- and I got to make this clear. I made this clear at the beginning of the video, but I got to make it clear again. All these places are named. Here's where they're separate from America. This is where I have a sense of mercy that I don't have for America. Cuba, Jamaica. In Mexico, probably Puerto Rico. Bahamas, Barbados, and Brazil, they're not riding around witch hunting people playing games. That's a seven. They know what their laws are. You know what that means? The community ain't trying to go witch hunt people, calling them pedophiles, and they already know what their laws are. They're not doing that in these other places. That's why I have the mercy. 
America, you are. You riding around just as dirty as everybody else, but here you are running around playing psychological pedophile entrapment games where they entrapping people with psychologically, where they're trying to entrap people psychologically as pedophiles. Meanwhile, you got 44 states with child marriage. You're the only one that's walking around vigorously trying to catch pedophiles, and here you are with child marriage, big baby. That's why we have the smoke we have with you. These other countries get mercy from me because, you know why? Because I don't hear nothing about them running around after people. That's what separates them from you. For all you little patriots of America that say, well, you, you, you just don't know what's going on in the rest of the world. Yes, I do now. I know now. And you know the difference still? You know what's still the difference? You little patriot? Little patriot. Let me tell you what's the difference, little patriot. Little patriot. Let me tell you what's the difference. The difference is they ain't going around here running after people. Accusing people dumb to their own laws. They ain't dumb to their own laws. You are. That's the difference. And when you do, and when you go around playing around with people and you contradicting yourself, unfortunately, you think you're not going to get to walk away. You think you get to walk away. I know that's the punchline. That's the catch 22. What are we supposed to do? Let you walk away and you the one guilty of doing it? Boom. What does the Bible say? Judge not what? Lest you be judged first. With the same judgment that you put out, that's the judgment you're going to be put under. That's what the Bible says. With the same measure that you put out, that's the measure you're going to be judged with. And I'm paraphrasing. So that's why you in the situation. You see what I'm saying? They went around judging and playing games and putting out measures of judgment and, and, and thinking it ain't going to come back to them. So guess what? Now we're going to judge you under that same magnifying glass, bruh. When you've been fully grown men talking about what children doing. The audacity of the people to be acting. Talk about what children are doing. When you as fully grown men are out here with 44 states child marriage. And here's the thing. You can say what you want to say about Russia, but Russia ain't got child marriage. There's more hope in the future for Russia being the leader of the, of the world than, any, than, than in America. America sit up and still play games and know they got 44 states with child marriage. That's, we don't need nobody like that. We don't need nobody leading us like that. You know you slipping and you still out here with your chest out. That part. You got China that doesn't have child marriage. I just found out I'm part uh, Chinese. I didn't know that. Because I'm part Malay, if I'm saying that right, which they have Chinese blood. Um, China does not have child marriage Russia does not have child marriage big baby so there's two other superpowers who don't rock like you do bro why you try, why you why you got the little patriots talking about you just don't know what's going on in the rest of the world i think i have a better understanding than you do at this point at this point I think I have a better understanding than you do. Uh, you you didn't know about 44 states with child marriage, did you? So how are you going to tell me what's going on? When, when you don't even know what's going on right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't see the Russians doing it, do you? That's, that's what's not going on. Is Russians not having child. They're not having child marriage. That's not going on there. Child marriage is not going on there. In China, in China, child marriage is not going on there. Hmm? It's not going on. You know where it's going on at? Why you think you the best? You want me to tell you where it's going on? 
is going on right here in the homeland of the United States of America. Go Google it. And we don't listen. You know what people say? Well, that's what parental consent. They can't just go marry them. Well, how you know that really? Have you went through each one of them to see that? And then after that, who cares? Here's the punchline, and this is what we call in the morning. It's first, obviously, the, the fact that you have child marriage in 44 states. It's facts. So we don't care how it's done. We don't care. Okay? Ignorant folks. We don't care how it's done. You got 44 states with child marriage, and even with parental consent, here's how we have them be. It's the fact that it's an option for the American community to marry children. It's the fact that it's an option. We don't care if it's with parents do, helping them do it or them doing it on their own. It's the, fact that, it's the fact that it's an option. It's the fact that it's an option. You get me? You get me? You comprehend Okay, so the fact that it's an option is where the smoke is. That's what we got the smoke at. That's what we got smoke with. Boom. That's all we talk about. While you got psychological games going on, we got you on paper for being pedophiles. You want me? Let's go over the definition of what pedophiles. For all the new people that's tuning in because you want to hear about these other cities and states or whatever, other states. Let's go, let's go. Let me help. Let me go to the definition of what a pedophile is, because everybody has their opinion. We ain't talking about opinions. We talking about definitions and facts in this room right here. That's a seven. We talk about definitions and facts. While you playing clown Mickey Mouse games. The facts are the definition of a pedophile is someone who has sexual an adult not a child a child cannot have cannot be a pedophile because it starts off a pedophile is an adult from the very beginning they're over the age 18 okay and who they're engaging is always under the age of 18 always 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 whatever the situation is however it chalks out the adult the one that's your is that, that is the def, pedophile by definition is with someone that literally is under the age of 18. That's what we talk about. We ain't talking about opinions and all of that. We talk about the facts. Okay? We have to be technical in this situation because everyone has their little freaky dink opinions these days. Everybody got their two cents. We ain't talking about your rinky dink two cents. We talk about the facts. The definition is an adult that has sexual desire for children or have had sexual relations with children, an adult, right? We can assume it ha that's the same thing. Someone having sexual desire, someone having sexual relations that is an adult with children, that's the definition, okay? That, that's what it's defined as, cut and dry, cut and dry, right? Okay, so why you got 44 states with child marriage? See that part right there? See, I just cleared it all up. How do you have the age of consent under 18, which means the age someone can say yes for sex, that's under 18. That age is under 18 where a person can say yes for sex. That's under 18 in 40 states out of 50 states in America. Looks like this the revolution. Ain't, ain't nobody going with that. So I'm back to my topic. <laughs> We're at a crossroads. We're at a crossroads right now. Definitely in America and on into the world, but definitely started with America because they wanted to play games about this pedophile stuff. Then we're going to do it then. You don't rev up, you don't poke the bear and expect not to be mauled. You don't play with the bull and expect no horns. You want to play this game? That's what we're doing. 
So we're at a crossroads. Now that I showed you for the African-American community, I showed you your favorite destination, which is Jamaica. That's your favorite destination. You love to go there. You have dreams of going there. Well, I just showed you the age of consent is 16. So you got a decision to make as a community. Do you believe this is a yes or no question? I'm, we, listen, this is a yes or no question. Do you believe this is right or wrong? Should someone that is an adult be penetrating the vagina of someone that's underage? If it's a child vagina, should a, 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 a male penis be penetrating it? Yes or no? That's all I want to say. I just ask you a yes or no question. I don't need nothing else. Need nothing else from you. For all you rest of you Americans, for the for the Mexican American community, for the Mexican American community, well, Mexico has the age of consent of seventeen. Ooh, I didn't know that one. I just found that out this morning. I didn't know for sure. You, you know, I could have assumed anything. But I found out for sure that Mexico has the age of consent of 17. So you're another community that has to make a decision. Is this right or is this wrong? Because you played the game here, you Mexican Americans, you played, yeah, you played the game too. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Ain't nobody stupid. You went around, you you go around accusing people within your community and playing politic games about pedophilia and who's a pedophile. Okay, so let's do it. Here's my question to you. Mexico has the age of consent of 17, buddy. That's the whole country. That's the whole country for the most part. The age of consent is 17. So, you have a decision to make. You're at a crossroads too, buddy. Oh, this is a spiritual pro crossroad. I'm a prophet of God. You're at a crossroads, buddy. We ain't gonna play no games with you. This is either right or wrong. You need to make a cultural decision with your people. Is it right or wrong? And this is what I want you to base it on. I'm asking you one question, just like I asked the African-American community one question when I talked about the Jamaican community having the age of consent of 16. I'm asking you the same question. Do you agree with an adult penis penetrating a child vagina? We don't care what age the child is. Under 18 is a child. Do you believe that an adult penis should penetrate a child's vagina? Yes or no? That's all I got to say. Looks like I got it covered, don't I? And so like I told you, the Bahama has it at 16, Barbados has it at 16, and Br Brazil has it at 14. Yeah, everybody likes to go to Brazil too. They have it at 14. Now, back to you Americans. Let's fly back up here to you Americans. How would you feel about somebody with an adult penis penetrating your 14-year-old daughter? Huh? Would you agree with it? Yes or no question? I ain't, listen, I don't care about your opinions. I don't care about your stories and sitting by the lake. You know, people like when you talk like this, they want to tell a story sitting by the lake. I ain't no, nah, I ain't got time for you to tell a story sitting by the lake. Would you in would you give consent for someone to penetrate your 14-year-old daughter? Yes or no? It's a yes or no question. I'm not asking for a whole summary. I'm not asking for you to be to be long-winded about it. Two words, one word actually. Two words for an option for options. Yes or no. That's what I thought. 
That's what I thought. But you know who I salute? And I'm going to do a whole video for them. I salute the Dominican Republican because they have, the Dominican Republic has the age of consent at 18. Boom. Oh, you thought I was just a pessimist, huh? Just looking for the bad news. No, I, I'm looking for, I, I, I look for good news. Unfortunately, it's no good news in your world anymore. Look at the news itself. <laughs> I salute the Dominican Republican, the Dominican Republic for having the age of consent at 18. America can't even do that. New York State can't even do that. The military of America has the age of consent at 16. They can't even do that. So DR got it. They, can, they, they got it together down there. See? Don't judge a book by a cover. You thought somebody was racist. I ain't racist. I lay down the law. I lay down the law. You try to lay it down on me and you fail. I'm laying it down on you and I'm succeeding. <laughs> See the difference between me and you? See the difference between when, when, when fools go do what they do and when a black man apply himself? You should have knew better than that. Play with no black man like this. So I salute the Dominican Republican for making it making it obvious that this can this can be a reality. You don't have to. This is listen. We don't have to sit here and think about this all day. Put eighteen as the age of consent and move on. Boom. We don't have to talk about it no more. We don't have to discuss it no more. But you're not doing that. America is not doing that. You're making it a topic. The more you do, the last the last uh, law that they passed here in America was a year before COVID. The last child marriage law they passed here in America was a year before COVID. That's the last one. Just three years ago, a year before COVID, which means it's always going to be relevant. When I tell, if I tell people this 20 years later from now, that yeah, you know, the last some child marriage law that America passed was a year, the year before COVID. Oh, really? That's what people are gonna say. Oh, really? That's always gonna be relevant because COVID is always gonna be in the minds of the of the culture and the people. See what you did? See what you did right there? You put it in stone. You showed people that you, it's not a matter of an old mentality. It's not a matter of an old mentality. This is a mentality that was expressed a year before COVID. So you can't, you can't in America, I don't know about anywhere else, but here in America, you can't hang on to where, oh, this was, this was uh, back in the day. You can't do that. When you just passed a child marriage law, the last one under the Trump administration. Now, if Trump has something to do with it or not, I don't know and I don't care. It, it happened under his administration. It happened on, by the American government. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. Why you playing, why you playing Mickey Mouse Happy Meal, McDonald Happy Meal game? Little goofy people. Goofy and dead. The last the last child marriage law was passed under the Trump administration. Now, let's let's review how Trump is. He got everything to say about everybody, right? He got he talk about Rosie O'Donnell. He talk about uh who else? LeBron James. He talk about everybody, but he can't talk about the laws passed in his under his administration. You didn't do you hear him say anything at these rallies? You didn't, did you? He's talking about everything else. All these rallies he's holding, you didn't hear him say nothing, did you? That's what I'm talking about. He talking about entertainment, but not even talking about his own field of work where laws are being passed, 
child marriage laws are being passed. Now, if he had a real problem with it, we know this person's personality by now. Wouldn't he have said something about it? Big as his mouth is, crass as his mouth is, he ain't say nothing about it, did he? Yeah, that should make you wonder. Should make you wonder, shouldn't it? Same man said he don't want to have no sex with a woman that had a baby. Oh, that's what I heard. <laughs> heard he said he he wouldn't have sex with a woman that's already had babies. Hey, that's what he said. I'll do a video on it if you want me to. <laughs> but the bottom line is we're at a crossroads as, an, as a, a world community. America already got it coming. They already got judgment coming. They, they play games. We don't care what they, we don't care. We got them and they play games and judgment is coming. For the rest of everybody else, let it be a lesson. You know, don't go around witch hunting people. You know what your situation is. If you need look, we're at a crossroads as a global community. If we believe this is right or wrong, should adult penis be penetrating child vagina? Bottom line, buddy. <laughs>